Hi, I'm here with Timmy at LaBelle Equestrian, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about softening the neck. Um, so if you have a horse that braces in the neck or doesn't bend um, or kind of pulls against the rope, this can be really helpful. Um, I like to do this with all of my horses. And it's based on Jim Masterson's uh, lateral cervical flexion technique. Um, but really, I'm just focusing on feeling for softness and release and noticing any places where the horse kind of gets braced or stuck and teaching them to release and soften through those spots. Um, so I'm going to put the rope over his neck and I'm going to put one hand here on the nose. My other hand is going to follow these cervical vertebrae. So starting here at the atlas, the big bone that sticks out um, at the top and then I can follow these vertebrae down the neck. So my right hand is just gonna ask him to bend towards me and I'm gonna back up as I go to create space for him to move into. Just asking for small movements here. And if at any point he gets stuck, I'm just gonna kinda hang out in that spot. And if he moves his feet, I'm just gonna move with him and wait for that release. I'm gonna make sure that I let go on a moment that he's soft. So if he's braced, I'm just gonna wait for him to soften. If he moves his feet, I'm just gonna move with him and follow and just kind of filter out everything other than that very specific movement that I'm looking for. I um, also wanna make sure that he'll lower his head down. So the head down is great uh, to help prepare the horse to follow the, the reins down when you ride. Um, but also it can have a calming effect on the horse. So if the, the head goes up, that is associated with the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight mode. Um, bringing the head down seems to help engage the parasympathetic or that rest and restore nervous system. Um, so again, I'm gonna just put my rope here over his back. One hand to the nose, one hand behind the pole. And I'm just gonna ask him to follow my hands down. And if he gets a little stuck, I'm not gonna push harder, but I can add a little lateral movement. If he starts fussing and doing that, I'm gonna make sure I keep my hands in position. Again, just not pushing harder, just waiting until he follows down. And then I'm gonna make sure that I release at a moment that he's soft and not a moment that he's resistant. So again, if he starts to, to move around and brace in the neck, I just keep my hands right where they are without pushing harder and wait for that softening down. Um, so I hope these uh, techniques help you to keep your horse nice and soft and it will help them to be much softer to the rain as you prepare to ride.